Welcome Mathematicians. Welcome to part 3 video, video on the irreducibility of polynomials. So in the sec first part of the video, we saw the we discussed the irreducibility of polynomials over R. In the second part of the video, we, we discussed the relation between roots and the irreducibility of polynomials. In particular, we proved that if the degree of f of x is either 2 or 3, then f is reducible over a field f if and only if f has a root in f that is what we proved okay so if you look at the previous csr questions regarding uh, uh, irreducible polynomials for example you see uh, yeah let i1 be the ideal generated by a fourth degree polynomial i2 is an ideal generated by a third degree polynomial and uh, like basically they look at the quotient ring f1 and i f2 okay options are whether this f1 is a field or f2 is a field that is a question so this f1 is a field if this i1 is a maximal ideal in this ring q of x but i1 is a polynomial is a ideal generated by some polynomial so ideal generated by some polynomial is a maximal if and only if this polynomial is irreducible okay so that's why we need to uh, check whether this polynomials are irreducible or not now this is a degree 3 polynomial similarly this is another problem degree 2 and 3 this is sorry this is degree 4 3 this is degree 2 degree 3 and again you see here this is degree 3 degree 2 so usually they give uh, polynomials of degree 2 3 and sometimes they 4 yeah most of the time you can see it is degree 2 or 3 so if you are given a degree polynomial of degree 2 or 3 and if you want to check whether it is uh, irreducible or not a very simple test is the rational root test that's why we want to do rational root test so let me tell you the statement okay so let f of x be a polynomial with integer coefficient that is what is very important integer coefficients uh, and we assume that it is uh, the leading coefficient is not equal to 0 suppose <coughs> alpha equal to p by q is a root of f of x okay so basically rational root test will tell you which rational numbers can possibly be roots of this polynomial f of x okay so it says that alpha equal to p by q the rational p by q is a root of f of x then there are some necessary conditions p by q should satisfy what is that this numerator p should be an integer factor of the constant term a naught okay so p should the numerator should divide the constant term and the denominator q should divide the leading coefficient that is a n okay so q should divides a n okay so this is the condition uh, if uh, alpha equal to p by q uh, is a root of this polynomial with integer coefficient then numerator divides the constant term denominator divides the uh, leading coefficient okay let's see how to apply this theorem so we want to show that this polynomial x square plus x plus 2 is irreducible over q so this is a degree 2 polynomial so now we have this result f is reducible if and only if f has a root in f so equivalently f is irreducible if and only if f has no root in f okay so to prove a degree 2 or 3 polynomial it is enough to prove that they don't have roots in uh, the field okay so basically we want to show that this polynomial x square plus x plus 2 has no rational roots that will imply that that polynomial is irreducible over q great let's see why it has no uh, rational roots so uh, suppose alpha equal to p by q is a rational root of f of x okay then from the uh, rational root test numerator should divide the constant term 2 okay and the denominator q should divide the leading coefficient where the leading coefficient is 1 right okay now what are all the rational numbers alpha equal to p by q such that p divides 2 q divides 1 so p divides 2 means that p is uh, plus or minus 1 okay let me write p divides 2 implies two choices for p is a plus or minus 1 
or plus or minus 2. These are the only integers that divides 2. Okay. Now, similarly for Q, the choices are Q should divide 1, the divisors are 1 or plus or minus 1. So, now using this uh, uh, P equal to plus or minus 1 or plus or minus 2 and Q equal to plus or minus 1, the only possible rational numbers that you can form, okay, are plus or minus 1 and plus or minus 2, okay. Okay, so therefore we conclude that if P is given by these choices, Q is given by these choices, the possible rational numbers are plus or minus 1 and plus or minus 2. Therefore, by rational root test, this polynomial, if it has a root, then that root has to be either plus or minus 1 or plus or minus 2. Okay. But you can substitute these numbers in this polynomial and you can check that none of these four numbers are roots of this polynomial. So, what we are doing is rational root test will give you some rational numbers which may be root of the polynomial okay but uh, except the outside this list none of the rational number can be a root of the polynomial okay so if at all this polynomial has a rational root these numbers has to be the roots but none of these numbers are roots of this polynomial therefore this polynomial has no uh, rational roots it is a degree 2 polynomial having no roots in q Therefore, it is irreducible. Okay. So, these are all uh, some uh, options given in uh, CSAR problems. Uh, like which of the following polynomials are irreducible over Q. You can apply the same technique and you, uh, uh, you can uh, conclude that which of them are irreducible because they are all degree 3. Okay. So, please solve this problem by yourself and uh, uh, tell me in the comments which of them are irreducible by using rational root test. Okay. Okay, guys. So, this is a very interesting uh, what test in the next video we see Eisenstein criterion and then in the next to next video we see the mod p test then uh, the, there are some uh, very little bit advanced uh, some tests are there uh, with so in the next video we see remaining test regarding irreducibility of polynomials okay so i hope you understand uh, whatever i said here if you like this video, please like this video. So many people are, you are watching this video, but you are not liking the video. Uh, so usually if you check the number of views is much higher than number of people liked the video. If you liked the video, it will be recommended to many people and many people will watch it. I will also feel more uh, encouraged to make more videos. Okay. Okay, I mean, uh, yeah, you, you are teaching something and uh, many people are attending your teaching. So, you will feel happy and you will write more videos. You will make more videos. Okay. Okay, guys. If you will, please subscribe my video also. Thank you. I will meet you guys in the next video. Thank you.